This news highlight is brought to you by Bonin Post Online. Malaysia Airlines shocked by allegations against co-pilot. Malaysia Airlines had expressed shock over allegations being made about its first officer, Farik Hamid, who was the co-pilot of missing mass flight MH370. The national airline said in a statement that Malaysia Airlines has become aware of the allegation being made against first officer Farik Hamid. Malaysia Airlines have not been able to confirm the validity of the pictures and videos of the alleged incident. Prop reverts to O on board. On March 15th, Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak said. In view of the latest development on the missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, the Malaysian authorities have refocused their investigation into the crew and passengers on board. Najib said the authorities were still investigating all possibilities as to what caused flight MH370 to deviate from its original Beijing-bound path after it had been confirmed that the aircraft shown in the primary radar data was MH370. Najib had also instructed the Malaysian authorities to share all relevant information freely and transparently with the wider investigation team, neighboring countries, and international partners in the joint operation. Over 100 housewives in Sarike claimed cheated by two women. Over 100 housewives in Sarike claimed they had been cheated by two women on the pretext of seeking assistance to raise money to pay for the medical bills of their ailing family members. The two women were said to have approached the unsuspecting victims separately between September and November in 2013, seeking their sympathy by selling the same story in raising money to pay for the medical bills. Head of Police, Commercial Crime and Investigation Department Superintendent Muhammad Firdaus Abdullah said they had received a total of 52 reports from the victims. 19 heard as two explosions rock industrial zone in Syria. 19 individuals had a close shave with death when three buildings collapsed following two ground-shaking explosions at an industrial zone in Syria on March the 14th. The explosions, believed to have been set off by acetylene gas used during wiring works at a warehouse, also damaged five other buildings and vehicles within a hundred-meter radius of the industrial zone. Firemen had to first rescue three workers from beneath the rubble of a partially collapsed ice cream factory before rescuing a family of five who were trapped beneath their collapsed living quarters adjacent to the factory. The majority of the 19 persons rescued from the three collapsed structures sustained light cuts, and they were treated at Syrian hospital. Tree cutter crushed to death by fallen tree. A tree cutter was crushed to death. Was pinned under a tree on March the 15th at Sungai Kubong in Miri. The disease identified as Ajadu Islam had gone into the forest with another worker to cut some wood at about 7 a.m. The incident occurred when one of the trees fell and crushed his neck around 11 a.m. Ajadu's colleague immediately called for help. Unfortunately. He died due to serious head injuries.